Hello, Merry Meet. So, um, I have a little bit of time before I am going to my weekly support group meeting. So, I thought I would make a video. And the video I want to make is actually a first impressions video. I um, sometimes buy a New Age magazine called Soul and Spirit. And this time they had a little bonus. They had this little deck of cards. So, I thought I would just make a little first impression video about these because they look so interesting. They're called the Jackie Newcomb's Angel Action Cards. I do not know if you can get these uh, in other, any other way than through Soul Spirits. Well, I, think, I don't know if it was made for them. Sometimes when they have these bonus card decks and such, they are made for them. Or if it's just a downscaled version of another deck or something like that. I don't know anything about it. But anyway, if you go over to Newsstand, they still have uh, the, the October, I think it's October issue. Or was it November? I think it's October issue that has this. So, yeah. Uh, and you can uh, have a look if you happen to like it. Now let's see if we can open this. I wonder why they always make things so difficult to open that you might as well try to get into Fort Knox. Do you have anything to open it with? Knitting pens to the rescue. Where do you have it on yet? Knitting pens can be used for a lot of things, including opening uh, stubborn oracle decks. Or actually, I don't know if this is an oracle deck or if it's one of those daily affirmation cards. Let me see if we can get my knitting pen back where it belongs so I won't end up sitting on it. Sorry for bouncing the camera everywhere. Didn't mean to do that. So, yeah, it's open. Let's have a look. At the back, it says, oh, it's the, the instructions. Then we look at the cards first. And if I, um, yeah, there isn't any internal uh, cellophane. Something that annoys me is when they have cellophane all around the deck and then have it, or, or the box, and then have it around the deck as well. Anyway, um, these are the cards, these are the back of it. It, uh, it has an, um, you can see there her um, web address. I suspect that if you want this deck and you can't find the, um, this issue of, um, of uh, the soul and spirit, you can probably figure out about the deck from there. So yeah, let's look at some of the cards. As such, I can see that um, the cards are relatively simplistic, but pretty. And I do seem to be more of a daily affirmation to me, but I also think that you can use this as an oracle deck. There's a lot of veins, I see. Uh, so basically you have, for example, you have the card name, it says power. And then you have the drawing, and then under it says the angels of powers are with you today. All of them say the angels of such and such are with you today. So that's why I'm thinking daily affirmation cards. So yeah, I mean, the cardstock is not great, but for a free gifty, you can't complain. Actually, my first Oracle deck was something that came free in the magazine. My um, grandmother uh, liked to read a magazine called, uh, it's this, some uh, women's magazine called um, Norsk Ukebla, which means um, Norwegian Weekly Magazine. And one of the issues had this deck, it was about this size. 
And I got that and I started reading with it. And eventually lost that deck. I don't remember exactly how I did that either. And I was really heartbroken about it. But later, uh, when I helped out uh, one evening at my school, tidying up a room that they were going to make a classroom in, I found a box of old uh, magazines. And I had that magazine that uh, had that. And I remember I opened it. <laughs> I will hold the cards in there, and the cards were there. So yeah, I still have those. I have to show them in a video at some point. So yeah, I see that most of these are based around wings, and then you have a few that show people. Uh, the colors are muted, but very pretty. Uh, I definitely think that these will be good both as daily affirmations and as uh, a divination deck. And I think that a tiny little divination deck that this can be very useful, both to have in a travel kit, witchcraft travel kit, but also to just have in your purse in case you want to do some divination on the go. I like this card. It's cute. So, I mean, the quality isn't the most Impressive, but for a free gifty, I uh, don't like it. I don't like the backs with those scripts on it and all of that, but what can you do? I like the color scheme. It's very peaceful, very warm, very earthy. I think my mother will like this uh, deck. I could probably do a reading for her the next time I visit. So yeah, there's not that many cards, so I think we can show all of them. Here we go. And this is just the end card that I tend to always end up uh, mixing in with the cards when reading. Well, not always, but it happens. So, time to read the instructions and see if I were right that it is a daily affirmation. Let's see here. Uh, sit in a quiet place as your guardian angel to bring you some direction for the day ahead. Shuffle or cut the deck and select one or more cards for inspiration from our beautiful angel deck. Uh, that's, yeah, it's, it's daily affirmation, but I definitely think that you can just do a reading and just get uh, feel um, feel um, intuitively intuitively what to what each card means. I mean, for example, if I go with let me just pick a card. This one, for example, I see her. Um, I see her dress, which is pink, which I would say would, for example, be mean love, but her uh, her expression is a bit concerned, so I would perhaps think, uh, depending on what question, I would say perhaps concerns about love and so on, so you could definitely do a reading with them. Um, let's see what else it says. It, this is a quote from the author, that I worked with angels since I was a little girl and I hear their messages as an inner whisper. Angels can't solve every problem, but they can help guide us to take action and take control of our lives. To confirm your own inner guidance, I created these simple cards to give you direction for the day ahead. Never forget, the angels are always around for you. Then we have just the cards that are signed by blah, blah, blah. Uh, and who made the artworks, and uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the uh, October issue that these came with. But it could be the November issue, I am not 100% sure. Uh, but yeah, I think that they send these cards with uh, these little decks with these this magazine every now and again. And I would say this is one of the 
better ones. I really like this one and I think I might be using it. Because I think it's it would be very good for the little quick readings, very simple readings, and it would be actually be pretty good for a daily affirmation type thing. And also for meditation. So yeah, it's actually useful and it's more than compact and will fit in my purse. So yeah. That's my first impressions of uh, Jackie Newcomb's Angel Action Cards from Soul and Spirit magazine. And you can get these, this magazine at newsstand. They, they, you can often get back issues as well. So you should be able to find what you're looking for. Well, that's my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. And blessed be.